Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen Marks, and you've got Freedom the Parrot in the background. All right, guys, I recently replaced my floors, so I've got luxury vinyl plank, and we've got Freedom the Parrot here. It's very important for his respiratory system um, to keep the dust away, and I recently went out to Vac Attack of Bluffton. Jade and Tyler were fabulous. Now, I've got a couple different attachments. You've got the soft little brush, you've got your crevice tool, but what's going to be most important for me, this long crevice tool, I can get behind um, the various nightstands, the dressers, and then, of course, downstairs, the living room, we've got the couch, etc. And Freedom does walk underneath the bed, so it's going to be really important for me to uh, be able to dust under there or vacuum. And so this has got a cool thing. You can step on that cord, and it, it'll bring the cord back in. It's really fun. And I'm going to turn this on really quick. Now, Freedom is generally scared of vacuums, so this is the first time he's seen this vacuum. We'll see how he does. It's okay, Freedom, but we have to vacuum and keep the place clean, so here we go. Here we go, Freedom. Whoa, here we go. So that was a quick demonstration. You see how Freedom's feathers went out and his wings went out. Uh, when a parrot gets in that position, you really don't want to go near him or pet him. Even though I've had Freedom for nine years, um, it what it is, the sound of the vacuum gets a bird pretty pumped up. But on a good note, guys, in the past, Freedom was very scared of a tall vacuum that I had. It was really, really heavy. And so um, did you notice that he didn't panic? He didn't walk all around the cage. He didn't try to run. He didn't go back inside his 36-inch cage. Yay! So good job, Freedom. So thank you, Back Attack. We really appreciate it. Have a great day.